En quitter. Merci à vous. Please be seated. Vous pouvez vous asseoir. The court is back in session, and the chamber gives the floor to the defense counsel for Mr. Kizampon to resume his questioning. You may now have the floor. Kizampon, thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Mr. Witness, before Monsieur le témoin, the lunch break, we were discussing about the fighting, the combat. Between Khmer Rouge and the Vietnamese et troupes vietnamiennes on Pulawai Island, I have a few further questions. J'ai uh, quelques autres questions à vous poser. Particularly en concerning uh, the instructions from your upper echelon. Vous avez reçu des échelons supérieurs. Were you Work or were combatants instructed to make trouble with a Vietnamese troops or when they were arriving at the naval forces? Were you the one that was sent to create the problems with the naval forces? Were you the one that was sent to create the problems with the naval forces? After the liberation in 1975. The soldiers were obliged to protect the territory of protecting the territory borders at sea. We were not educated or instructed to attack the Vietnamese troops. So we were told to defend the maritime. Territory and territory, and we were told that we need to protect the Vietnamese from entering into maritime territory. We protect the Vietnamese from entering into maritime territory. We protect the Vietnamese from entering into maritime territory. We protect the Vietnamese from entering into maritime territory. Traveling of Vietnamese boats or other foreign ships into maritime territory of Cambodia. Can you give us an instruction to chase and capture Vietnamese ships at the time? No, le pays amot. Answer. Réponse. Concerning the maritime border which we needed to protect when the Vietnamese fishing boats came into maritime territory of Cambodia, those fishing ships were had no guns or weapons. Question. My question rather concerns the fishing boats of Vietnam. Were they equipped with weapons? Alors ma question c'est de savoir si ces bateaux de pêche étaient équipés d'armes. Bateaux de pêche vietnamien. Answer. Réponse. In that year, when cette année, when Vietnamese ships Lorsque les bateaux de pêche vietnamiens ont pénétré les eaux maritimes, les eaux du Cambodge, certains de ces bateaux de pêche étaient équipés d'armes, mais d'autres n'en avaient pas. Et j'ai remarqué que certains bateaux de pêche avaient eu deux armes M16. Question. Comment le saviez-vous? Answer. Réponse. I learned this through the tasks that we had performed. Par le biais des fonctions que nous devions accomplir, lorsque les bateaux de pêche vietnamiens ont pénétré les eaux. Territory of Cambodia, we needed to capture those ships, and if those ships were equipped with weapons, we needed to attack and fire at them. 
et tirer sur ces bateaux. Counsel, thank you. Avocat, I merci. Like uh, J'aimerais lire W-I-D-E 319 Question 21. Answer 21, rather. For Alors, us, réponse the 21. first Pour important nous, matter was the defense le plus of the country. La du the second pays. matter was the Deuxième construction of the country. La construction du the pays. instructions to Les defend the country meant we had to stay on the island permanently, not abandoning permanent the island under any circumstances. When we saw warships entering our territorial waters, we had to report to the division so that they could intervene. As the commander on the island, en tant que chef de, I was responsible for making decisions to de counter small motorboats with 20 euh, horsepower to 400 horsepower engines. Bateaux de 20 chevaux jusqu'à 400 chevaux. My boat was Mon armed with a boat a DK 82 millimeter guns and 30 millimeter machine guns. The Vietnamese motorboats which entered our territorial waters were armed with B-40 rockets and so armed. on. Sometimes 10 boats or more than 10 motorboats entered our territorial waters and some ships among them was responsible for protecting their fishing boats responsable de la protection de leur bateau de pêche. Quote and unquote. Mr. Fin Witness. De monsieur, le, monsieur le témoin. After listening to the Après extract of WRI of the witness, les, uh, what is your reaction to the extract of WRI? What is your reaction to the extract of WRI? What is your reaction to the extract of Réponse. Yes, I oui. was aware of that. However, we were de responsible for a different task at that time. My époque. regiment, uh, which was stationed on the Polovoy Island, did sur l'île de never uh, encountered such incidents. Actually, de uh, the Je other de regiment used to les autres encounter such uh, incidents. And as I said, de, de we uh, were in different dit, regiments and uh, we were faced, uh, régiments. We faced uh, with a different challenges Et chaque and different situations face à plusieurs, at that time. Uh, défis différents à cette époque-là. Counsel, thank you. Avocat, merci. Concerning your testimony, concernant votre témoignage, you gave on 16 December. Donné le 16 décembre. You stated at around 10:39. Environ 10h39. 04. 04, that que in 1977, en 1979, I once or twice saw the incident. Later on, there were no incidents uh, happening at the Haber, Haber. Incident qui produit au port. And most of the time, there were trucks uh, coming to take uh, those people uh, to Kampong Sam. Il y a des gens qui étaient venus pour arrêter des gens à Kampong Sam. And then uh, there was a further question to your Ensuite, answer. Ensuite, une autre question a été posée. In document E319-23.38.1. Question and answer 10. Question réponse 10. You stated Vous avez dit that, um, que there were thousands of people il y avait des milliers de personnes qui avaient été arrêtées. And people Et were, uh, sent, uh, through des personnes ont été uh, euh, envoyées plusieurs fois euh, par mois. Je veux parler par le 
J'aimerais vous poser une question sur l'arrestation de Vietnamiens sur ce navire. Combien de Vietnamiens ont été arrêtés à bord et combien de fois avez-vous été, euh, avez été le témoin de ces arrestations Réponse. C'est vrai que j'ai été le témoin des As arrestations. Comme je l'ai déjà mentionné, je n'ai pas menti à la cour. Ceci s'est réellement produit et des Vietnamiens ont été envoyés au port d'Ochetil et ensuite on les a transportés jusqu'à euh, Kampong Sam ou Chiang Kadong. Des gens ont été arrêtés tous les mois en 1978. Et c'était une année particulièrement intense en termes d'arrestation. Avocat, merci. Vous semblez fournir des déclarations incohérentes. Dans une uh, déclaration, is that, uh, there were, uh, vous avez dit qu'il y avait arrest, uh, deux ou trois arrestations par mois. There was Et dans une autre déclaration, vous avez uh, mentionné qu'il y avait des milliers de personnes qui avaient été arrêtées so quatre ou cinq fois par mois. Donc, quelle version est la version correcte Permettez-moi d'éclaircir les choses. En fait, à cette époque, j'étais posté au port de Chetil et il y a eu deux ou trois arrestations de Vietnamiens. C'était un c'est euh, un incident qui s'est produit à cette époque. Les euh, Vietnamiens ont été arrêtés et ils ont été envoyés via le port de Chetil avant euh, qu'ils soient transportés à Kampong Sam. Avocat, Thank you. merci. Est-ce que vous pouvez spécifier la date exacte you were at that Vous avez dit que vous étiez posté à ce port. Fish. And, uh, You also said that vous avez également you were dit injured, uh, the fighting with, uh, que vous avez été blessé lors des combats avec les troupes américaines sur l'île de Kodang. Et donc, uh, à ce moment, vous avez reçu un traitement. And how long were you being, uh, at that time? Pendant combien de temps avez-vous reçu un traitement you, uh, were in Et uh, quand est-ce que vous avez rejoint votre unité après votre traitement Answer. During the fighting on the island, I Au cours des combats à, sur l'île, j'ai été blessé à la hanche a et j'ai été hospitalisé. A, for half a month, and afterwards, I Pendant came 15 back jours et ensuite je suis euh, revenu travailler pour mon unité. Counsel, thank you. Avocat, merci. After you were attached at Ochotil Port, après votre invitation au port de Chotil, can you tell the court when did you arrive at Ochotil Port? Vous êtes arrivé au port de Chotil. No, non, nam chetapampal. Answer. It was Réponse. in 1977. C'était en 1977. En avril ou en mai 1977, lorsque je suis arrivé au port de Chetil. Mais je ne peux pas vous garantir le mois exact ou l'année exacte que je suis arrivé au port de Chetil. C'est l'endroit où j'ai également reçu une formation. Avocat. 
Can you tell the court how long you stayed at Ochetil Port? Uh, Answer: I was réponse. trained at Ochetil Port for one port de month. Pendant un mois. And the following month, le mois d'après. I was sent to study technical skills uh, at uh, Rong Island. Compétences et techniques sur l'île de Rong. Upon my arrival, lors de mon arrivée, at Rong Island, and after my uh, training et après ma on Rong Island, I went sur cette île, to je suis allé Domnat Sdai, and Domnat also Sdai. I was stationed at the uh, Hot Soka Hotel. À I was Soka. on a mobile basis and at that time as I was a messenger I went this and there transporting uh, supplies uh, to des, ports. Uh, uh, au port. Council, thank you. Avocat, merci. In the hearing on Lors de 16 December last year December at time mark 10 a. 57, 10h57, 55, 55, you testified before the chamber that, la chambre que, quote, je cite, those who had no weapons uh, were sent to Ochetil Court au port so that they uh, could be put in division office. Être mis dans les However, de in 1976, when I was not yet part of the division, c'est à ce moment-là que les personnes étaient envoyées au port de Chetil. So, concerning the arrest of uh, Vietnamese uh, and they were sent to Ochetil Port, did this happen during the time that you were trained at Ochetil Port? Ceci est survenu lors, lors de votre formation au port de Chetil. Answer. Réponse. The training was already concluded. La formation était and déjà at that achevée time, I, à ce moment-là. Je faisais de l'unité des messagers de la division. J'avais pour tâche de conduire des véhicules pour transporter de l'équipement militaire au port. And I worked uh, in Et that messenger unit until the entry of Vietnamese in 1979. Avocat. So, Donc, does this mean that uh, you witnessed the transfer of uh, Vietnamese uh, uh, people to uh, Vietnamien via le port d'Ochetil Et ce de manière fréquente. Est-ce que c'est bien cela? Answer. Réponse. Yes. Oui. In 1977 and 78, uh, I no longer saw the transfers of Vietnamese people. But before that, before avance, those years, Vietnamese uh, troops, uh, Vietnamese people were sent to Chetil Port. And later on, in 1977, 1978, or afterwards, when it was time that the Vietnamese troops came into the country, there were no further transfers. The document in document 8319, slash 23.3, Point 66. Question and answer question number 66. Question. You stated, quote, 
réponse. Sometimes, Vous avez uh, dit par moment que les soldats Khmer Rouge postés sur les îles envoyaient des gens et donc like les envoyaient au parage. Donc, ils les envoyaient à Kampongsong. J'aimerais dire que les experts chinois avaient fourni des formations so, aux soldats Khmer Rouge. Donc, des navires ordinaires ne pouvaient pas jeter en dans le port. Riam était un port international où les navires euh, ordinaires pouvaient jeter l'encre. Fin de citation. So a, a a witness. Donc ça c'est le so procès de du euh, témoin. J'aimerais savoir, j'aimerais connaître votre réaction concernant la formation qui a été assurée par les experts chinois à cet endroit. Et les bateaux ordinaires ne pouvaient pas jeter l'encre dans ce port. Donc quelle est votre réaction Answer. Réponse. Concerning this uh, matter, concernant ce point, Riemport le port de Riam was a place where était un endroit uh, people, où including Thai people les gens, y compris and Vietnamese des Thaïs et des Vietnamiens, étaient envoyés, ils étaient envoyés à ce port de Riam. C'était la même chose pour le port de Chetil. J'ai été uh, témoin Thai or Vietnamese people were sent to Riem or Ho Chi Minh, and torture also happened on et de Vietnamiens au port de Ho Chi Minh. Des tortures se sont également produites à ce port. Avocat, mais ma question est différente. Je veux connaître votre réaction à cette déclaration. Ce témoin a dit que des bateaux ordinaires ne pouvaient pas jeter l'encre, puisque le port de Réam était l'endroit où les soldats de Khmer Rouge étaient formés par les experts chinois. J'aimerais connaître votre réaction concernant cette déclaration. Le Président, veuillez patienter, Monsieur le Président. Il y a un petit problème de traduction parce que l'avocat parle assez rapidement, mais ce que nous avons entendu, c'est la question dit l'inverse de ce que dit, de ce que déclare le témoin dans ce procès verbal. Peut-être que l'on pourrait redire ce qu'il pourrait dire. Au témoin, on dit que les Chinois étaient à Ochatil et que le port de Rem était un port international. Donc, il y a d'autres informations dans la question de l'avocat. Je ne veux pas citer cette question, mais c'est différent de ce que je disais dans la réponse. Council. Yes, I can Avocat. Summarize oui, what je I peux résumer ce que je viens de lire. Le port de Chetil était l'endroit où les soldats de Khmer Rouge étaient formés, en particulier les soldats de la marine. Et le port de Rem était un port international. Donc, quelle est votre réaction à la déclaration que je viens de citer Réponse. Je n'ai aucune objection à faire concernant cette déclaration. Le port d'Ochetil n'était pas considéré comme un port international, c'était un port ordinaire. Aucun expert chinois ne travaillait ni ne vivait au port de Tetanusnak. Les Chinois were staying or living in Soka Hotel. Séjourner à l'hôtel Soka. And once again, there were no Chinese. À nouveau, il n'y avait pas de Chinois à Riem ou au port d'Ochetil. Did not anchor. Les navires de guerre ne jetaient pas l'ancre à cet endroit. Comme je l'ai dit. Did not disagree to the statement of that witness. I am not in disagreement with the declaration of this witness. Bah, c'est mon con. Tiato. Counsel, thank you. Avocat, merci. In relation to the fate of the arrestees. Concernant ce qui s'est passé pour les personnes qui ont été arrêtées. 
I want to ask uh, you about the statement you were writing to the Ritko lawyers. Que vous avez, you uh, fait, stated that uh, vous dit que a few people were killed. Été tués. Did you receive the order to kill those que vous avez few reçu, uh, de tuer people, ces including the Vietnamese? Personnes, y compris des, uh, Vietnamiens. Who, uh, Did you receive the order from to kill de qui avez-vous reçu cet people? ordre de tuer ces quelques personnes vietnamiennes J'ai déjà dit à la cour, as a combatant or soldier en tant que combattant ou que soldat, of, uh, sous Ajalan, le uh, leadership de ma hiérarchie, je uh, n'ai pas osé violer les règles à moins qu'il y ait eu un ordre venant de mon bataillon, from regiment, and de mon régiment. We Receive, uh, you know, an order through a hierarchical si nous recevions uh, un ordre order, de la hiérarchie, nous ne pouvions pas accomplir nos fonctions avocats. Pourriez-vous dire exactement à la cour qui a donné l'ordre, quel était son nom et quel était son rôle et sa fonction à l'époque Réponse. I want to clarify this point to the court that uh, the order came from the upper echelon and it went down to the battalion and afterward the uh, soldiers had to perform the task to kill a few people tâche, celle de tuer right away. Des gens et ce, immédiatement. Bon, For example, or was a commander of a battalion when de he bataillon, issued an a order, soldiers ordre under him had to soldats execute the order. Donc, ces soldats ont Council, appliqué thank cet you. Ordre. Avocat, merci. Somnang. Somnang. Uh, was Somnang your direct Somnang uh, commander était votre of a battalion? Direct, commandant du bataillon. Yes, Sam Nang or Bong Sam Nang was the commander of my battalion. It is true. Question: Did he issue the order to you to kill the arrestee on the island when there were not many of them? Is that true? Answer. I myself did not Réponse. carry out the execution, but uh, my unit uh, did the killings. Uh, and as I said, when we received the order from him, we had to execute it. We had to execute the order. When we arrested uh, a few of them, we had to kill them on the spot, on the island. Thank you. Question and Samnang, who is who was your former superior? Do you know whether he is still living? And if so, where? Answer. We departed from one another Réponse. since 1977 when I was en assigned to work on a ship. I have never bateau. seen him since, Je so I cannot tell you whether he is still living or not. Si Question. Can you tell the chamber under Question what uh, circumstances some issued an order to your group to smash those who were arrested on the island when the number was small? Alors que le chiffre de le nombre de personnes arrêtées n'était pas conséquent. Answer.
based on the instructions the battalion received from the regiment. Council interrupts. Mr. Witness, what I want to know is the circumstances or the circumstances that you received such instructions, whether the instructions were conveyed through a meeting. And if so, where and when? Answer. At uh, that uh, time, there were such instructions which were conveyed uh, through a uh, meeting for a small group of people who were arrested. The instruction was to execute them. And that was the uh, clear instructions that we received là, for the small number of arrestees. We had to execute them, and there was no need to bring them on shore. Council. Yes, we understand that. However, what we want to know is under which circumstance the orders were delayed. And if uh, it, the orders were delayed, during a meeting or meetings where those meetings were held and who participated in those meetings. Answer. At that time, the orders were very strict. À cette époque -là, les ordres étaient très stricts. We could only implement the orders when the orders were uh, relayed uh, during uh, meetings. And if we fail to implement an order, for example, an execution order, then we ourselves would be executed. If we were to receive orders through meetings, those orders had to be implemented. And usually those orders were conversed through meetings at uh, the battalion level or at the regimental level. Question. Question. Mr. Witness, I'd like to get further clarification from you. When you said that orders were relayed to you through a meeting to execute a small number of arrestees, can you tell us whether those meetings were held per group or per the entire battalion? Answer. The uh, meetings were convened at the battalion level, and we were informed that the instructions that were relayed to us uh, were from the regimental level. That was clear to us. Uh, and that's what we learned in the meetings. Question. Did you participate in any meeting chaired by the regimental level on this particular issue? Answer no, I did not. I never attended uh, meetings at the regimental level. Usually I attended meetings uh, within my uh, unit. Question, what about the meetings held at the divisional level? Did you ever attend uh, meetings at those levels on the issues that we are discussing now? Answer. Réponse. In my capacity as a combatant, I never attended a meeting at a divisional level. I did not even attend any meetings held Je at the regimental level. Au ni à des réunions au niveau du régiment. Question. Question.
you stated in your interview that Vietnamese were Vous avez dit hereditary dans votre enemies of a Cambodia. Que les Vietnamiens étaient l'ennemi héréditaire du Cambodia. How did you uh, learn that? Uh, did you learn it through uh, your training or through your education? Au cours de votre formation ou par votre éducation? Answer. Réponse. Allow me to clarify this issue once uh, and for all. Je vais clarifier cette question. On the issue of the Vietnamese as hereditary enemies. In fact, I learned of this information en fait, through study sessions which lasted for a day or two. And we were told that Cambodia and Vietnam were hereditary enemies. And I can recall that uh, very uh, clearly. Question. Yes, Question. thank you. However, Merci. my uh, point is as to when and Mais where moi, did you learn about uh, this quand et où through your uh, study session? Uh, please uh, dans vos respond briefly as I am running out of time. Car, uh, je de temps. Answer. Réponse. It was uh, one of those study sessions held at the island. They received uh, this study plan, and then it was conveyed to us on an island. Question, which island are you referring to? Answer, it was Pulawai Island. Question, is it Potiwai or Pulawai? Vous avez dit Potiwai ou vous avez dit Pulawai? Through your uh, statements, you uh, mention Dans vos the island of Poti Wai, and on some other Poti instances, Wai, you mention Polo Wai. Is it Wai. one and the same, or are they two different île? islands? Que ce sont deux îles différentes? Answer I refer to uh, one. And same island. Je parle de Sometimes it is uh, known as Potiwai, Polowai, or Powai. Po or sometimes they refer to old and new Polowai Island. And in fact, they refer to the same island. Question. Question. When you uh, refer to the study uh, sessions on Polowai Island, are you referring to the time that you were assigned to a uh, station there after the withdrawal of the Vietnamese troops from the island? Answer. I have already stated that we were assigned to a station on the island after the withdrawal of the Vietnamese troops. Question. Question. Were there any further clashes after that between the uh, Vietnamese and the Cambodian troops? That is, after you were uh, uh, given information that Cambodia and Vietnam were hereditary enemies through your study sessions? And uh, there were no further classes uh, during that uh, year, although we learned in the uh, study sessions that Cambodia and uh, Vietnam were hereditary enemies. Of course, there were classes on land, but not on the island. Question. Who can you uh, recall? Do you recall? Who was your superior? Who actually gave you a lecture that Cambodia and Vietnam were hereditary enemies? Answer. On the issue of hereditary enemies, through my understanding, the 
information was given to us de l'ennemi héréditaire et eh bien cette information battalion. nous a été donnée au bataillon but it is my understanding that this information Mais was conveyed from the division level and it was given in study sessions throughout Puis, the country ensuite, Council. My question Cette to you as who was the person who actually conveyed this information, whether the person was your superior or commander, and what is his name, if there is the case? Answer. It was my battalion commander who relayed such information to us that the uh, Vietnamese were our number one and hereditary enemies. Council, who? Answer, it was uh, Sam Nang. Question. Question. Did you attend uh, such study session personally or did you hear it uh, from other soldiers answer i personally attended the study sessions and i received uh, such instruction from my commander question my question to you is that uh, whether Samnan, who was your si superior commander, actually gave instructions to you, or whether he appointed another cadre si to provide instructions to you. Responsable de vous relayer ces instructions, de vous donner ces instructions. I received uh, trainings, these uh, political Réponse, educational trainings. At my battalion. Cette éducation, cette formation politique dans mon bataillon. From representatives of the uh, regiment. Ceux qui dispensaient cet enseignement étaient des représentants du régiment. So there were representatives from the uh, Ainsi, regiment who came to relate information at our battalion study sessions. Lors de nos séances d'études au niveau du bataillon. Question. My question to you is in relation to the time you spent on Polowai Island. How long did you spend on that island? And also on the study sessions that you attended uh, on the island, that when you learned the instructions that Vietnamese were, our, were Cambodian hereditary enemies, did you attend these study sessions at the beginning of your stay on the island? or whether it was toward the end of your stay on the island? Answer. I was on Potivai Island after uh, my engagement with the American uh, soldiers. And I remained there until 1977, that is uh, until about uh, April or May of 1977, when I was reassigned uh, to work on a ship. Question. The second part of my previous question is about uh, when you attended the study sessions where information about Vietnamese as hereditary enemies. When was that study session held? À quel moment se sont tenues ces sessions? Answer. It was in early 1977 when that study session was organized for my unit. Question. Question. 
Could you please uh, repeat uh, again the uh, real or the actual position of a Samnang? Maybe Donc, I did not uh, get it from your previous Samnang, response. Peut-être n'ai-je pas bien compris dans votre réponse précédente. Answer. Réponse. Bong Samnang was the uh, political commissar. Bong Samnang était le commissaire politique. He was in charge of a, a politics and uh, disseminated information, political information to us. Politique. Question. Question. He was a political commissaire and which level was he attached to? Et à quel niveau était-il attaché Était-il attaché au niveau du bataillon ou au niveau du régiment Answer. Réponse. Somnang was a commander Somnang of était a battalion. Un bataillon. And that was his uh, uh, role. Et tel était son rôle. Question. Did you attend Question. any other similar trainings at the upper formation? level, for example, de, de, at the regimental level or at the divisional level? Du régiment ou de la division? Answer. Réponse. I did not attend any study session at any higher level than the battalion level. Que celui du bataillon. Question. Question. Allow me to refer to a conflict uh, with the Americans. This morning at around 9.35 minutes, you stated that crew of the Mayagas were uh, arrested. And then they were rescued uh, by American uh, troops. Par les troupes In one of your WRI, that is E3 9092, at EN in Khmer, 00 French 00980438 English 00978570 And allow me to quote You stated that we let them go. However, when they boarded their ship, they attacked us by a war plane. End of quote. Free translation. Could you please uh, tell the chamber which statement is correct? Dire à la chambre donc quelle est laquelle de ces deux versions est la version correcte? Answer. The American crew were uh, returned from the inland Réponse. and they uh, were sent uh, to board the ship. Ils ont été à then bord the bateau. ship, uh, Ensuite, the Mayagaise ship uh, departed. Le bateau Mayagaise est parti. And after the departure of that ship, Après le the island bateau, was attacked and bombarded by warplanes, and it became so intensified, and it lasted until 7 o'clock in the evening. And after that, the Americans completely uh, withdrew themselves. 
se sont complètement retirés des eaux territoriales et de l'espace aérien du Kampuchea. Est-ce que les autorités du Kampuchea qui ont libéré l'équipage du Mayagas et puis il y a eu un attaque par les avions américains Over the crew not yet released ensuite, when the attack occurred. Une attaque, ou alors au moment où il y a eu l'attaque, l'équipe n'avait pas encore été libérée. Réponse. We allowed them to leave, and the attack came after the Mayagez ship departed. Le départ du Mayagez. Question. question. I have uh, some smaller questions in relation to your uh, study sessions. J'ai quelques petites questions Did au sujet you de vos séances d'études. Avez-vous participé any ou avez-vous study assisté session besides those à des séances d'études mises à part celles uh, dont vous avez fait état devant la Chambre, par exemple? Avez-vous participé à une quelconque autre séance d'études au niveau de la division? Answer. Later on, I did not attend any Réponse. study session at any other uh, uh, level because by that time the situation uh, became la situation calm and there were no further calmé. study sessions. Et il avait plus Question. De you mentioned Question. earlier that Mihmoud was commander of Division 164. And my question to you is the following. Do you know who was in charge of the entire army of Kampuchea? Qui était responsable de l'armée dans son ensemble? Answer. After the war ended in 1975, and with the announcement of the Communist Party of Kampuchea, en 75 et après l'annonce du Parti communiste du Kampuchea, and I'd like to mention the following facts. Dire the la Communist Party of Cambodia was announced after the war ended in 1975, and by that time I only learned of names of those uh, at the leadership level, le nom des gens qui des postes the names that I heard of included uh, Kyo Sampon. I learned of Kyo Sampon's name before the war ended in 75, and after the war ended in 1975, I learned of a Pol Pol's name, who was the leader, and Mihmut was the commander in charge of the division in Kampong Sao. And I learned of this information in 1975. And I recall that information clearly. Et je souviens clairement. And of course, I remember it until 1993 when we went to some low question. Moment où nous My allés question à to you is who was the commander in chief of the, um, of the entire uh, army in Kampuchea? And I do not refer to the administrative leader of the regime. Do you know who was the military commander in chief qui était le at the time? À cette Answer. I cannot recall that. Réponse, je ne m'en souviens pas. I cannot recall who was the uh, military commander in chief or who was in charge of uh, politics. Ni de qui était responsable de la politique. Question. 
questioned. Question. Does the name Sunshine ring a bell to you? Le nom Sunshine vous dit-il quelque chose? Answer. I know the name, but I never saw the person. Je connais ce nom, mais je n'ai jamais rencontré la personne. And I did not receive any information whether he was the uh, commander in chief or not. Or maybe I cannot recall it well. Question. Si did you ever meet him? Est-ce que je ne m'en souviens pas bien? Answer. No, I did not. Réponse, l'avez-vous rencontré Non, je ne l'ai pas rencontré. Question. Question. In document E319-23.3.12, at question answer question 25, 25. The witness speaks about the instructions from uh, Son Sen. Le témoin parle d'instructions données par that Son Sen. Il dit In late 77, I attended a meeting in Phnom, Phnom Penh for the uh, work of Division 164. I heard Mick made a report about the uh, Vietnamese boat which entered the Cambodian maritime waters and sunset Sunset said if those Vietnamese were refugees uh, going to Thailand, they should not be arrested and that we should allow them to uh, trespass. And of quote, free translation. Did you ever hear such an instruction that uh, Vietnamese refugees should not be arrested? Ne devait pas être arrêté. Answer: No, I did not hear any instruction of not arresting those people. I only heard of instructions to arrest them. My, uh, one of my last questions to you is the following. Did you know about the establishment of the armed forces of the Democratic Campuchia, that is after the administrative structure of Campuchia regime or Democratic Campuchia regime first organized? Après l'établissement de la structure administrative du régime du Campuchia démocratique? Answer: No, I did not. I was a combatant, so Moi, I did not have uh, that knowledge. Et donc je pas accès à ces je pas ces Thank you, Mr. Witness and Mr. Ma President. I don't have any further Monsieur questions for this witness. President, thank you. As we still have uh, some time left, I'd like to hand the floor uh, again to the Defense Council for Anun Chi. Since you still have some further questions to put to this witness, you may proceed, Council. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, let me turn to um, your direct commander, Bong Sam Nang. Was he the one who was always your commander when you were stationed at Paolo Wai? Est-ce que c'était votre commandant le temps que vous étiez posté à Polawai Answer. Réponse. Sam Nang was my uh, commander. Était mon uh, commandant. Was he also the commander when you were fighting Question. the American forces at Kotang? C'était le cas. Answer. Réponse. In 1975, when I participated in the attack. À l'attaque sur l'île de Tang, il y avait deux 
At that time, uh, there dit, was a member under some name that a member participated in the fighting. His name was uh, Bong, Net. Bong Net. But when you were at um, Paraguay, et lorsque vous étiez à Bong Samnan was always your direct commander. Is that Bong Samnan était toujours votre commandant direct. Est-ce que c'est bien cela? Answer, yes, that is correct. Oui, c'est correct. He, is, he was my direct commander. C'était mon commandant direct. Now, is my understanding Question. correct that Alors, si only in two instances did you see deux reprises, vous avez um, a killing of vu an alleged Vietnamese l'exécution d'une personne qui était um, soi disant vietnamienne. Donc un incident dont nous avons parlé ce matin qui a eu lieu à Bolawai et deuxième. Um, uh, Second incident was on, uh, on sea, on open sea. Is that correct? Lieu, uh, en mer. Est-ce que c'est bien cela? Answer. Réponse. Yes, that is true and correct. Oui, c'est exact. And this, the second incident that you had Question. described earlier, when a soldier threw a baby into the sea, Vous avez was that avait lancé um, un bébé à at la the mer. open sea between uh, uh, the, the island entre uh, Kopawai uh, and uh, the mainland, somewhere um, in between those que two places? Entre ces deux endroits? Answer. Réponse. At that time, I was époque, sent to work on the land near the port, sur le continent près du where port, I saw the incident où j'ai vu cet incident, uh, during which a baby who was uh, crying so loudly was, was thrown into the sea. Dans la mer. But it wasn't not Question. at sea. Or Mais est-ce que c'était when this incident happened, mer, or was it? Um, on, the, at the, on the shore. Où est-ce que c'était exactly sur la côte? Où est-ce que ça s'est produit véritablement? Answer. Réponse. The baby, baby was thrown into Le the sea. Bébé a été lancé. But was à it thrown into the sea Question. from Mais est-ce qu'il a été a lancé à la mer had just, à partir uh, come from, um, qui uh, from the island or was it de very close to the shore Est-ce que c'était à proximité de la côte Answer. Réponse. I witnessed that incident. The baby was thrown into incident. the sea from lancé à la mer the Vietnamese boat or ship. À partir d'un navire the soldier went up le, uh, onto the ship or boat of the Vietnamese people, and at that time, du, the baby uh, was crying so loudly, le bébé and uh, très fort. they threw the baby et into ont the lancé sea. Le bébé à la so it was done by forces from Pulawai. Donc, uh, on open sea. Cela a été Is fait that en mer. Est-ce que c'est bien cela? Answer. Réponse. Yes. Oui. That is true. C'est exact. Uh, that uh, was carried out by a battalion Ceci under a regiment 62 and they did uh, throw the baby into the sea and I witnessed that. Bébé à la mer et ai été témoin. Just to be sure, these were the Alors only two incidents that you saw sûr, ce sont les and is my conclusion correct that both incidents were vu, done ultimately under the supervision possibly of uh, Bong Sam Nan. Is that Bong correct? Est-ce que c'est bien cela? Est-ce que j'ai bien compris ce que vous avez dit? Answer. 
answer. Réponse. We, the subordinates, had to oui, les, euh, respect the nous, les subalternes, nous devions respecter nos supérieurs et je ne savais pas si mon supérieur uh, immédiat the other higher uh, respecter uh, so when sa there was an order, hiérarchie we had to également. Carry Lorsque nous recevions un ordre, eh bien nous devions But when this incident euh, happened, when you saw this soldier ah bien, throwing the, the, this child into the sea, uh, uh, was this a mère, que spontaneous action from him or did he confirm une action first spontanée de with Bon Samnang? Ou est-ce qu'il a d'abord dû confirmer auprès de Bon Samnang? Answer. Réponse. Bon Samnang was the commander bon of était le commandant battalion, and it was his decision that uh, allowed uh, the subordinates to carry out, qui a permis carry out aux that action, throw the baby into the sea. Action, celle de lancer le bébé à la mer. Well, let me read something else to you from um, someone who was also a member of Division 164. Division 164. Um, this president is E3 slash 9113. Um, English ERN en anglais 009-004-7-4-2-2-2 and he's being asked a question about uh, what to do when um, um, boats were spotted Alors, que faire lorsque des and étaient repérés? Um, he Et says the following il a répondu, um, we were instructed on not to arrest de ne pas de ne pas arrêter we les civils for nous pouvions les arrêter pour des enquêtes détaillées pour savoir s'ils étaient véritablement des réfugiés ou pas if they wanted to leave si safely we would we could de let de them go sûr, nous pouvions les laisser we partir et par moment nous to euh, les euh, leur venions également de nourriture but we asked them not to come into these areas again. On n'arrêtait pas le bateau, mais on leur demandait de ne pas revenir dans le bateau. Mais Each small dans cette boat zone, carried around eight persons. Le bateau a traveling revenu, was il y avait huit personnes. Et Having seen them traveling on small boats, we pitied them very much. Nous avons vu sur des petits bateaux, et donc nous Then avons eu pitié pour eux. Regarding et la the question intelligence encore, agents en ce qui concerne our, our island, uh, was there any instruction from the division? Y avait-il les instructions de la part de la division? Answer. Réponse, we were instructed to arrest them on a reçu l'instruction de les arrêter et de les envoyer Now, à S21. Um, Mr. Witness, this seems to be uh, a witness who is giving a Cela different description as to what to do when people were spotted in boats. Une description en ce qui concerne le repérage des bateaux et des personnes, si c'était des réfugiés, eh bien la plupart d'entre eux pouvaient continuer leur chemin et s'ils étaient soupçonnés de ne pas être des réfugiés, ils étaient interrogés et ensuite envoyés pour un interrogatoire plus poussé. Ceci semble donc contredire les instructions de Bon Sam Nang. Est-ce que vous pouvez répondre à cela I do not know how to respond. Je ne sais pas comment répondre à votre question. To comply with the rules and regulation of the Cambodian Revolution, no release. Nous devions être en conformité avec les règles, les réglementations. After the arrest. Et il n'y avait pas donc de If libération après les arrestations. Arrested, si des gens étaient arrêtés, ils étaient envoyés and, uh, pour être interrogés uh, confession would be et les confessions radio, étaient diffusées and I did not sur la radio et je ne savais pas uh, si... Matter happened in other uh, regiments passé for, uh, dans the mon that we did in my regiment 62 Donc, it happened like 62, i described euh, ce passé, you described ce que um, question your unit Votre or unité, the people involved in the my aggress uh, incident as quote incident, unquote uh, wild bandits 
était des pirates, je cite. Est-ce que votre unité était sous le leadership de Bong Sam Nam, y compris vous-même Est-ce que vous étiez un groupe de pirates Réponse. Let me address the matter you asked. Alors, je vais répondre à votre question. C'est une question importante et je dois y répondre en bonne et due forme. J'étais l'un des combattants dans la division 164. J'étais également dans le régiment 62. Nous n'étions pas des pirates. Nous avions trois chaînes de commandement de 1972 à 1975 et ensuite après 1975 et jusqu'à la euh, euh, jusqu'au démantèlement des Camerouches. Question, qu'est-ce que vous voulez dire captured, lorsque euh, quote, we were like the wild bandits, vous disiez que euh, nous illegally. Nous étions des pirates parce que nous What avons capturé ce bateau de façon illégale. Alors qu'est-ce que vous vouliez dire par ce terme, nous étions des pirates Réponse. Je vais être plus clair. J'ai utilisé ce terme de pirate sans un fondement juridique. During the time there was war, and when we spotted any Ships or boats, so we needed to capture. Regardless, the boat or ship belongs to Thailand or America at that time. So we, I compared soldiers at that time to like wild bandits, since they were not aware of, you know, international sea border, or they were not aware of the law and regulations at sea. President interrupts. You have, you know, gone over time. You have dépassé le temps qui vous était imparti, avocat. You can conclude your questioning now. Vous pouvez conclure votre interrogatoire maintenant. I still have many questions, Mr. President, but I will end with the final question. Two incidents that you described were alleged Vietnamese were killed. Were those actually Vietnamese soldiers who were killed? 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 Were those actually Answer in that year. Cette année-là, Regiment sixty-two. Le régiment soixante-deux was responsible for the capture. Était responsable de. So no other regiments were there to carry out the seizure or capture. Faire cela. Regiment 62, together with a few other battalions, ten of them perhaps carried out. So no other regiment besides Regiment 62 did the capture. Like I said, Mr. President, I have many more questions. Mr. President, I have many more questions, but I don't have time, unfortunately. Thank you, Mr. Witness. Merci, Monsieur le Témoin. 
the hearing of your testimony as a witness has now come to an end, and your testimony will contribute to the truth. You may not be accused. You may return to your residence or to any places you wish to you wish to go. Là où vous souhaitez aller, je vous souhaite bonne chance, bonne santé et de la prospérité dans votre vie. Merci de bien vouloir apporter un témoin là où il souhaite se rendre. Merci à M. Mungsawan, le witness. Vous pouvez aussi bien vouloir accompagner ce témoin. Chamber will continue to hear to TCW eight four eight, but now it is time for a short break. The chamber will take a short break from now until jusqu'à ten past three. Quinze heures dix. You have the floor, International Court Prosecutor. Very much, Your Honor. I just was hoping to clarify a couple quick scheduling matters so that we have the right lawyers in court. Tomorrow, I know we are going to discuss the issue of the request for additional witnesses on the Vietnamese. Um, could, would it be possible sometime today for the Chamber to indicate? Whether that will be in the morning or perhaps after the witness finishes tomorrow, and. Uh, also, it would be very helpful so we have the right lawyer in court to know whether you will have a reserve witness tomorrow or Friday present uh, in court. Thank you very much. President, thank you. The Chamber informed already this morning that uh, first thing in the morning tomorrow before we resume the Questioning of the witness, uh, we start uh, with uh, the hearing of submission of and the responses of party first. So first thing in the morning. Donc ceci interviendra demain matin. La séance est levée.